So today we are going to discuss the resistance to blood flow in series and parallel vasculature. What will be the resi resistance to blood flow when the vessels are arranged in series or they are arranged parallel to each other? So first of all, the resistance in series. When blood vessels are in series, flow through each vessel is the same and total resistance to blood flow is equal to sum of the resistances of each vessel. It is very simple explanation for the series uh, resistance in series. It, it clearly states that the blood flow through each vessel is same. Suppose for example, these are two vessels and they are, they are basically attached with each other in series. Now the blood, the, the amount of blood, the amount of blood that is flowing through this part of the vessel, this amount of blood will also be flowing through this part of the vessel. So one vessel is R1, the other vessel is R2. And the resistance faced by the blood in this part, like the blood will face the whole of the resistance in this vessel, and it will face again the whole of the resistance in the second vessel as well. So the sum of the resistance, the total resistance will be equal to the resistance of this vessel plus the resistance of the second vessel. Now, the total peripheral vascular resistance, it is equal to the resistance of the arteries, the arterioles, the veins, etc. In the human body, when heart starts pumping the blood, the blood comes to, through the arteries into the aorta, into the larger arteries, then arterioles and finally the veins. So if you want to calculate the total peripheral vascular resistance, you will have to calculate the resistance of the arteries, the resistance of the arterioles, the resistance of the veins. That's basically That basically makes the resistance in series. To understand as an example, we consider, for example, this is this is basically one organ. For example, this is stomach. This is another organ. This is basically liver. This is another organ. This is liver, uh, kidney, for example. Stomach, liver, and kidney. Now, if the amount of blood that is being pump through the series, if the whole of the blood has to go to the stomach and then the whole of the blood has to go to, to the liver and then the whole of the blood has to go through the kidneys, then the resistance to the blood will be equal to the resistance offered by the stomach, the resistance offered by the liver and the resistance offered by the kidneys. And it, this will be very high resistance. But practically it is not like that. When the vessels are arranged in parallel, the total resistance to blood flow is expressed as 1 by total resistance is equal to 1 by re resistance of the vessel 1, 1 by resistance of the vessel 2 and 1 by resistance of the vessel 3 and so on and so forth. Now if we consider this example here, this diagram here and we compare this blood vessel with uh, this blood vessel we see here that the, when the blood is coming here this blood get divided into three parts first part second part third part fourth part it divides into four different vessels now some of the blood will be going through this part, some of the blood will be going through this part and some of the blood will be going through this part and the, the total resistance will be equal to 1 by the total resistance, 1 by the total resistance and the total resistance is far far less than the resistance of any single blood vessel. Here the total resistance will be very much less because here the blood has a lot of options the whole of blood is not going to a single vessel. Here the whole of the blood, the, the, the amount of blood which was present at, at vessel 1, it has to go through the vessel 1 and then it has to go through the vessel 2 as well. But in this parallel series, 
the blood gets divided into small vessels small parts and if a small amount of blood is facing one resistance it will face the resistance only in a small portion it will not be facing the resistance of the second vessel here it will be facing the resistance only once now suppose for example in the human body when the heart is pumping the blood here into the aorta the blood gets divided and some of the blood gets into the liver and some of the blood goes to the stomach now the amount of blood that is going to the liver it is facing the resistance in the liver but the the amount of blood that is going to the stomach it is not facing the resistance of the liver so the total resistance the total resistance is far far less in parallel series that's why the organs in the human body they are arranged in parallel fashion and if one of the human organ is removed for example one kidney is removed then the resistance in the human body to the blood it will basically increase because you you remove one parallel circuit now the blood which was flowing through this portion it is also now coming through the liver for example and it is also facing the undue resistance which will increase the resistance so when blood vessels are arranged in series flow through each vessel is same flow through each vessel is same the blood flow and the resistance are not being divided flow through each vessel is the same and the total resistance is equal to sum of the resistances of each vessel total resistance will be equal to resistance of this vessel total resistance will be equal to resistance of this vessel this vessel and this vessel but in the parallel fashion they are expressed in one by the total resistance one by r1 one by r2 one by r3 and so on so forth because the resistance has been divided the, the blood goes through um, some of the blood goes through one vessel and some of the blood goes through the other vessel and there are a lot of options and the amount of the blood is the same but it goes through different parallel vessels it has a lot of options and it it is not necessarily going through one vessel again and again that decreases the resistance so that's all about the resistance to blood flow in series and parallel vasculature and it which clearly shows the resistance in parallel in parallel uh, vessels is far far lower than the resistance in the vessels which are arranged in series so that's all about resistance to blood flow in series and parallel vasculature thanks a lot for watching the video